right, all right. Hey, what is up, everybody? Having a good time. I wanted to show you guys. Got this mailbag, my shirt. Archangel. Repping Garris tonight. What's up? Can y'all see? Can y'all hear? Ready for some Mass Effect 3. Looks like Ahsoka sent a treat stream. Thank you, Ahsoka. Very nice, very nice. What's up, what's up? I'm excited for some Mass Effect 3. I was repping this shirt all day for reactions, so over the next, let's see, video that we released today, up until a videos that will release to it from a month from now, we'll be able to see the shirt more. So yeah. All right. Well, I don't want to waste any time. I want to get right into more Mass Effect 3. So let's do it. Let's see. Last time on stream. There's never a dull moment. We got Tally back in the crew. Um, I think we were... I don't... I, I don't know if I was supposed to do any scanning over the week. I wasn't able to. got really busy at home, so um, there was no scanning done. I really should have. But let's go ahead and jump in. Check out our war, war term, uh, terminal and see what we got here. X Cerberus. Yeah, that's right. We had the uh, X Cerberus storyline last time. Um, we got scientists. We got uh, Dr. Bryn. We got Gavin Archer and Jacob uh, as new assets. So, yeah, we're going to talk with the crew. Check in with everybody before we get into the Outer Galaxy. That's the Admiral with the great voice. Here's Tali. Shepard. Don't know if she has anything new. Commander. She does not. Talk to you later, Tali. Sure. I know that at the end of last stream, we were kind of getting to the point where it's like, should I be using this gun? Because this gun seems real, real powerful. Leroy, thank you for the subs. Very nice, thank you. I don't know if Trainer has anything new. Caden wants to talk. We'll talk to Caden. Let's go up and talk to Joker first. Intimidating. And if you get nervous, how's Jacob? He'll be okay. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Nice to see those Cerberus scientists come to their senses. After everything he's done, the elusive man can't pretend he's fighting for humanity. Anyone who isn't indoctrinated has to see that by now. Glad we got out early. Yeah. Commander. Commander. What's on your mind, Edie? Liara recently requested assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only occur in a finite area, a bubble, if you will, in an ocean of other possibilities. Mm -hmm. I'm speculating whether, if you went far enough out or created enough energy, you could reach a place where one plus one equals three. Everything would change. All energy, all matter, all the underlying math of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Why? What were you thinking? <laughs> I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> Hello, Very Shepard. deep thoughts from Edie. I don't know. I don't know the answers to those questions. Maybe there are... It's, it's hard to use the word possible because that implies you have evidence to back it up, but you also have evidence to make something impossible as well, so who knows? Next time you're in the Citadel, don't get into trouble. Yeah, I have to do... I have a lot of dates on the Citadel, don't I? I, I really do. Uh, okay. Yeah, because I read all these emails. Let's uh, go talk to everybody. All right. We will go down to the crew deck. I always got to give props to everybody. That's given their lives. Thane. We got Morden on there. We got Ashley. Got a lot of good faces on there. A lot of good names, I should say. Let's see. Play this game. What's the matter, Vicaria? You chicken? I don't even know what that is. Though I've heard everything in the galaxy tastes like it. 
But if you're suggesting I'm scared, game on, Vega. Age before wisdom. Okay. Back in my CSEC days, I busted a Batarian spy ring that was trying to assassinate a counselor. Please, I fought off a dozen angry Batarians on Omega single-handedly. Used one of them as a landing pad off a three-story jump. <coughs> Just warming up, seeing what you had. Now, I tracked down this guy, Sarah. Stopped him from raising a Geth army and unleashing the Reapers <laughs> three years ago. Doesn't count. You did that with Shepard. It counts. He helped. The Shepard from the very beginning. That just means you're old. <laughs> you guys. I'm glad Jacob saw through the elusive man. At least not everyone in Cerberus has lost their mind. This fight can use it. Don't mind us. Just telling James here what it means to be a real soldier. How's it going? Hey, Commander. Hey, Commander. All right. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Nope. Not that button. This button. We have Caden at Crew Quarters 8. Let's go talk to Caden. Do we have enough beds? I should count one day and see if we really have enough beds. Hey, what's going on? You got a minute? Sure, Caden. What's up? You know, I've just been sitting here thinking. Uh-oh. Okay, hit me with it. So those Cerberus scientists, they were good people. What do you mean? I mean, Dr. Cole and her team, they seem like... like good people. Knowing that, what do we do? I mean, what if they're more like them, trapped inside Cerberus, struggling to get out? What do you think? Tell me what you think we should do. I don't know, Shepard. These are the hard calls. I mean, the decision to sacrifice the one for the many, the choice to leave someone behind until you're in that moment. I... So, yeah, you know, I don't know. Man. Edie, Caden, making the tough questions even tougher by asking me. What would I say to him? I would say that we, people make choices, and all we can do is respond to those choices, I think. Anyone that comes forward, like these people, we help, no matter what. That's the best we can do. I know. Sometimes the best we can do won't feel like enough, but it's all we've got. So the scientists that put you back together, that saved your life, they were good people. They were professionals. I didn't know them all. And the elusive man? Was he a good person? Once. Ever. Well, he gave me what I needed to stop the collectors. Right. Exactly. But so you never saw this coming from him. From him. Sorry. I'm not sure... What I want you to say here, I guess I'm just looking for some sort of insight on the elusive man. Something. Definitely complicated. Back then, he wanted the best for humanity, and he had resources to spare. But then it became humanity first, and at any cost. And that, that's a very different thing. But this? No. I never saw him attack saw the this Citadel like him. that. Okay. Well, thanks, Shepard. I'm glad we could talk about this. Meanwhile, you should find a way to take your mind off things. <laughs> I know. Joker did ask me to give him some poker tips. He keeps losing his shirt to James. Good luck with that. Joker has a terrible poker face. <laughs> Great. Well, I like a challenge. Sira. You bet. I should go. Yeah. Hmm. I just really hoped that the elusive man would, I don't know, I mean it goes against what he's for I suppose with humanity first at all costs, but I thought he would realize that like humanity can't cut this alone, but he also is willing to cross lines that I or Shepard or anyone else is 
unwilling to cross, so maybe he thinks by crossing them, humanity can do it by itself. Yeah. Who else? James and Garrus, do they have any? Maybe they have some more to talk about. You never know. Sometimes I go back and they talk more. You still think you can win this, yep. huh? I can do this all day, Scars. Funny you mention those. Ever hear the name Archangel? I might have. You know you have. I'm Archangel. Maybe I heard something about that too. Hmm. Then maybe you also heard that for a couple months there, the crime rate on Omega mysteriously dropped while Archangel did a little house cleaning. So you ran a cleaning service on Omega? Back on Fell Prime, I uncovered a pair of harvesters. Had to kill them by myself. To earn that, that's almost impressive. Almost. Oh, that's not even the best part. They left behind an egg. It hatched, and I trained it to let me fly. <laughs> <laughs> the Alliance teach you to make up crap like that, or did you figure it out all by yourself? It's a gift. <laughs> I trained it to let me fly it. That's amazing. Oh, it's so funny. To toss someone across the room is a decent attention grabber. Yes, but it's also a good way to draw enemy fire. Well, you can handle yourself in a fight now, Liara. I mean, not that your biotics weren't impressive the first time we met. I have had my fair share of opportunities to use them these past few years. <sighs> well, I'm glad you got through in one piece. Sounds like you have a few stories to tell. Uh, yes, she does. And she has all of our stories to tell as well. Feel free to look around. Alright, email from Jacob to Bryn. I miss you, Bryn, but I'm glad you're back there. The fighting going... The fighting's gonna get tough when we push out with the Crucible. I've gotten the cold shoulder from people who know I used to work for Cerberus. I can't say I blame them, especially after what happened on the Citadel. I've been able to teach other soldiers how Cerberus fights, though. They may be, may be wearing new equipment, but I know their tactics. Love you, Bryn. Take care of yourself. Aww. Matriarch Gal Galel was an Asari of some importance with connections to Asari High Command Council itself. Her electronic signature can be used once before security protocols realize it has been activated by someone else. Contacts can open elite training facilities for reconditioning soldiers or, on behalf of the Asari Embassy, grant someone a discount to all Citadel stores. So I want a power damage bonus or store discount bonus. I'm gonna go with the store discount because I'm not having I'm not having too much of a problem with the fighting element. I say that before I will get absolutely bodied the next time I go into a fight. But hmm. What do you guys think? I'm thinking store discount bonus. But while you think, I'm gonna go close this door over here. One second. use the powers anyway yeah well some of my other friends passively use them I'm gonna go with the uh, store discount bonus cool At your service. any more from these been two through a lot scars you giving up nah I got more just don't like to talk about it fair enough we've all got one of those just one huh yeah not every story has a happy ending Except there was this one time I teamed up with a Turian named Garrus McCarrion. He was pretty good with a gun, but he thought he was some kind of hotshot. Yeah. Yeah, I knew this wise-ass Marine named Jimmy Vega. Sounds like a pole dancer on Omega. Always <laughs> Jimmy Vega. But the kid was all right. Had guts when it counted. And together they cured the genophage. And stopped Cerberus from taking over the Citadel. And finally kicked the Reapers from this galaxy and into the next. With a little help from their friends. Nah, it was just us. But mostly me. 
I love Freddie Prince Jr. This is nice. I love seeing this. Now that we have it, it's definitely missing in the other two games. Uh, who else is on this floor? Liara, Dr. Chocolates, James Garris, and Caden. Okay. And then uh, the engineers, Diana. We can go talk to everybody else on the other floor. Maybe we come back up to this one if they have more. Gabby, is it true you helped repair Edie's mobile frame after that last mission? She just needed an extra pair of hands. I am an She did help the mobile frame, okay. Oils and lubricants involved. Was there any more need? In your dreams, Kenneth. If only my imagination was that good. Commander. Ugh, I'm falling down tired. I need a folding chair or something. Has Elenko had media training? He just gave me this steady stare during our interview. <laughs> Do we need to talk, Commander? Get off my ship! No. Not right now, Ellers. I like having her perspective. Let me perspective. know when you do. Honestly. I do. Javik. Anything uncomfortably brutal to say? We're both part of Cerberus. That is correct. And Cerberus is filled with traitors to humanity. Yes. They oppose us in this war. Then why should we trust either of you? We have severed our ties with the organization. But you were programmed by Cerberus. I can extrapolate where this is going. I have superseded my original programming and have chosen to oppose Cerberus. You mean you have chosen to oppose your creators? Correct. I find this a very troubling freedom machine. That is all. Machine. Those humans you saved were fortunate. There are still places in the galaxy to hide. Our refugees perished. There was nowhere left to run. Took a couple hundred years. We still got time. I trust you, Commander. When you say you no longer expedite Cerberus's goals. Otherwise. What are you going to do? Perhaps later, Commander. Later? Okay. Shuttle Bay. The next time you blow up a monastery, let me know you've left the premises, okay? I worry about you. The munitions you carry into the field deserve at least a triple check. Sir. Yes. Yes, they do. These two endlessly speaking, but never saying anything. And that's a tree stream. I will be right back. Watch them. Watch these two. Make sure you don't do anything. I'm gonna steal my fish! Alrighty, we're back. They revealed how to destroy the Reapers. No, I missed it. Fuck. Hey, doggy. 
<laughs> Damn. That sucks. I can't believe I missed it. I want to thank Ahsoka Tano in the chat for sending a treat stream. Thank you very much. Got the Boathouse Barbecue. I recommend if anybody for some reason is ever in Marietta, Ohio, get the Boathouse Barbecue. It's very good. If you would indulge me, I'm gonna have a couple bites, but then I'm gonna stop so we can cut around the eating. I know it bothers some people, but I'm quite hungry, so I don't care that much. No smooching. There will be no smooching. Um, I got a barbecue pulled pork sandwich and some fries. For now, I'm going to save the sandwich to later, but I will munch on some fries. Okay, let's do it. Thank you for indulging me. Let's go back to the crew deck one more time just to make sure there's nothing that we're missing from this ship state. From these two. Because it's gold. That is all the gold. Hey, Commander. Hey. Go up to the captain's cabin. I, I think that we met everybody that wanted to have a talk in the cabin. It seems like we did. Hi, fishies. So many good fishies. Okay, what are we gonna get into mission-wise? We do need to do all the dates on the Citadel. Should we do that now or should we maybe Get into some of the missions on this on the uh, mission planner screen. What do you guys think? Man, these fries are so good. Let me tell you, crinkle fries. Oh hell yeah! I know that Omega is it, it is a DLC, right? But it is something that I could probably start to do pretty soon. I think that what's what I'm gonna do. I know this long, but that might be our our stream. Is we're just gonna go through Omega. Um, so let's look at our journal. Gotta see what the actual mission is called. Rings on the moon. Geth Dreadnought is in the priority. A sorry widow. Yeah, that's kind of that's all uh, Citadel stuff I have to do. Yeah, if it's three plus hours, we can probably get all that done tonight. And I understand that everybody has uh, differences of opinion, but from what I can see, there's no consensus. <laughs> So let's see, uh, Omega is the stuff with Aria, I believe, right? We do have this here. Aria has requested a private meeting. Find her at Dock 42 of the Citadel. Dock 42 of the Citadel. Regardless, since we're going to the Citadel. Let's 
All right, let's leave this orbit. We need to get to the uh, mass relay. We might run out of fuel. We made it. Okay. Did we scan here? Let's go, 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 go. They're coming. I like annoying this, the, the Reapers. Dr. Bryson's lab is the Leviathan. Doc 42 is going to be Omega. We also have personal apartment, and then we have all the dates. I think we'll go ahead and do Doc 42, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. Doc 42, a Terran. Are you Bray? Uh, the great commander Shepard. <laughs> and me without my autograph book. Save it. Just take me to Arya. Follow me. So where is she? Arriving in style, Shepard. I see. Aria, how dramatic. There are too many eyes and ears in purgatory. I assume this is about retaking Omega? This is about your war, Shepard. Cerberus controlling the Terminus system seriously bolsters their mobility. Since taking Omega, they've spread through the galaxy. Surely the Alliance has noticed. We have. Cut to the chase. What's your plan? Kick them out. I've amassed a fleet of Merc ships. We're going to punch through enemy lines and invade. Okay. Once we're on Omega, it's a ground war. That's why I want you. I only accept the best. The leader of the Cerberus occupation is General Oleg Petrovsky. Petrovsky. He's the one who... Me. Don't know him. The elusive man's top military strategist and best kept secret. Ooh, this would be a good blow to Cerberus. To is that he's a merciless bastard. What's your intel on the occupation? Petrovsky's army is massive and he's got Omega locked tight. The information stops there. So you're winging it? Not at all. There are secrets on Omega only I know secrets that will provide us a foothold. I can tell you this. Petrovsky's invasion was precise and ruthless. He'll stop at nothing to win. Some would definitely say that about you. Sounds familiar. Shepard, I know my reputation. I know I'm hated. I ruled Omega with an iron fist. But the people were free. Their lives were theirs. I preserved that. This man took all that away, and he is going to pay. He has a fantastic headshot. Very good lighting. Very good lighting. Everything. I've got ships, mercs, Ezo, all yours for the war. That's a lot of assets. What's the catch? I have objections to some of the company you keep, so you'll have to leave the Normandy and its crew behind. What? My crew are professionals. Let's just say I want you all to myself. Feel good. It's like she's isolating me for some reason. I'll be Bray keeping my eye out for Arya. To my fleet. Oh, and while we're still in the Citadel, please be discreet. The fleet is hidden in this system. Signal me when you're on your way. Arya and I will meet you on the command ship. <laughs> Can't wait to see what all the fuss is about. Oh, you will, Bray. You will. All right. Let's see. In the journal, 
where we go from here. Rendezvous with Arya's fleet. Oh. We do that right here. See that nice little fleet? An assortment of vessels, warships, transports, and fighters flying under Arya's flag. Think I'll keep the Harrier? Should I keep the Harrier? I don't know. I'm always conflicted about the Harrier. I think I'll keep it. Mm, yep. Oh, we get Arya as a companion here. This is cool. Biotic boss. <laughs> okay. Huh. Yeah, let's do this. Um... Power damage, 40%. Power damage, 40%. And we'll do squad durability. Okay. We'll upgrade all of these to at least rank 3 for now. That leaves us with about 19 left. So we got Lash onto enemies with the Biotic Lash to rip them off their feet. We got Carnage. We have Drain a Target's Health and Disrupt their Resistances, receiving increased damage protection while the power is in effect. And Focus and Expend all Biotic Energy. It leaves a huge Flare. I like Flare. Flare seems kind of cool. Increased damage and Force by 30%. Damage of force sounds great. Increase recharge speed by 30%. Increase force damage and impact radius of combo detonations by 50%. And increase the damage done to shields and barriers by 75% or the radius by 50. I like big punchy moves. We'll do that. We're left with four left. For one more, which will be... Lash seems cool. Damage. All right. We're outshipped four to one, and most of our vessels are transports with limited firepower. We're not here to win a space battle, Jarl. We just have to punch through their line. So you've commandeered a Cerberus cruiser. The guest of honor has arrived. We can finally start. Let me guess. You're planning on infiltrating the enemy fleet. Exactly. We position ourselves to strike a crippling blow, then my forces join the fun. I do like it, but it also a sounds lot risky. Go wrong. The assault's been planned for weeks, Shepard. For now, just sit back. Let me steer. Not the best start to our partnership, are you? How things begin isn't nearly as important as how they end. Bray, move through the relay. Signal the fleet to wait. They only follow on my command. Really cool looking ship. There's Omega. Head for the command ship. Say that. The hard way. <laughs> he was very measured in his speech. Why nice casual? Be 
patient. Get as close as you can. Fire! Oh, they must be so pissed. They're like, that captain betrayed us! Oh, this is fucking good. Through. Push through. Head straight for the station. We're being hailed by the general. Should be interesting. Put him through. On screen. Aria, I knew this had to be you. You'll never make it. Pull it off now. You're barking up the wrong tree, General. But maybe you can convince my partner. Commander Shepard, I've heard great things about you. Can't say the same. My partner here doesn't have much to say for you. She's not used to being defeated. It clouds her judgment. A pity you left, Cerberus. We all sabotage ourselves in nefarious ways. Perhaps deep down you fear success. And Arya clearly thinks seeing you will unsettle me. Now it's my turn. I see you've gone to the trouble of augmenting that ship with Solaris armoring. An exorbitant waste. I've made improvements to Omega's outer defenses. My cannons will cut through you at will. He sounds pretty confident. Yeah, he does. So again, I say turn back. I feel like it's a Let's see what bluff. you've got, Oleg. And transmission. Why wouldn't he just do it? That went well. Set preset course. We're ramming the station. Everyone ramming it! For impact. What? Omega's kinetic barrier will stop my ships from landing. I equipped this cruiser with disruptors to take it out on impact. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. We'll probably survive the crash. Can I get a seatbelt? I would like a seatbelt. Okay. I don't think he was bluffing. We can make it. Aria, don't be stupid. Sound the evac. Damn it. Program escape pods for the station. Let's go. Everyone up. There's no time. Thank you, Dad. So it would seem. So it would seem. Down defenses. Got it. Orca. This is what I brought you. Ground assault. In combat, what you say goes. Respect. I am glad to hear it. I'm not really skeptical. I'm glad to hear it. Makes sense. We play to our strengths. I know where we need to go, and you can get us there. Okay, let's move. Just don't you fucking betray me. Hey, motherfuckers. I know you're Cerberus, but I got a Cerberus gun. And you're gonna love it. We're using incendiary ammo. Uh, 
Um, our squad is... Yeah, I don't have anything. Okay. Is so goddamn satisfying. Our pod took out the main exit. Use the controls to lower the glass door. I just want to make sure that I'm. I want to make sure I'm appreciating all the artwork and. Crafting that went into making this game, Arya. So satisfying to hit those shields. Look at that fire. Damn! It's a powerful gun, but it's so satisfying to hit. Anything over this way? Doesn't seem like it. We gotta head in the other way. Then head for the rendezvous hangar. Start prepping for our ships to land. Let's hustle. Every minute, more of my ships get obliterated out there. Okay. Just looking around. The Terran State Arms. I'm trying to see if I recognize any parts from my last time. Missed anything? The next area needs to be repressurized. Initiating. Somewhere. 
Yeah, another pod. We were lucky. Press on. Lost two more transports. Can't keep up the visa maneuvers much longer. We're right outside the defense station. Hold tight. Down, signal the surviving ships to converge on the rendezvous point. All right, guns are down. Hi, approach trajectory is plotted. We're already queuing up. Bray, come in. Status. Rendezvous site secured. Hangar doors enabled. We'll have them open soon. Need them open now. My birds are coming in. Prep for reception. What exactly is this rendezvous point? That's where we're headed. It's a bunker I established on D-Deck for my more sensitive operations. It's utterly impenetrable with its own secret hangar and dock. Independent power source, life support, munitions. You'll see. Who's watching? Aria, look. I'm guessing that would have just shot the camera. Deploy to D-Deck. Investigate and await further instructions. I only ever really use Renegade when I feel, feel. I wasn't feeling it there. chance the general knows where we're going. Then no time for sightseeing. Bray, stay sharp. You might get visitors. Terrific. Take the far exit. I've locked down the way we came. Causing a stir. Good. It feels good to let loose. It does. Omega Skyline. Now I feel like I'm back. Strange. What are those things in the distance? Some kind of force field. That's not good. Hmm. So 
some of my men. Let's move. I know that symbol. Looks like a gang tag. The Talons. They used to deface my property, too. The Talons? Lorca? Warning. Omega has been compromised. All Cerberus personnel report to station. Could be Vorka. There used to be an Omega group, or like a group towards the bottom of Omega. The Talon symbol again. That could be it. Hmm. Could be evidence of a resistance. Talons. Might be useful. Be an asset. Guess you're not supposed to do that. Orca. What the hell is he doing? are coming through the force field. Stand still, you piece of shit. I was wondering who she was talking about. Need to check out that force field. Yes, you do. Over here, Shepard. Poor idiot. Something tells me these force fields are going to be a problem. Are we blocked? Not this time. Come here. She knows all the secrets. This way. What are you doing? Letting you in on a secret. Down the ladder. All right. Who's there? Show yourself. Spirit, look who's back. Aria Talok. Is that a Turian? Nyrene. Nyrene? What the hell are you doing here? Hmm. Playing cat and mouse mostly. Just trying to stay alive. If it wasn't for these tunnels. My tunnels. I'm sure glad I showed them to you. Yeah, female Turian, pretty hadn't, cool. I'd be dead or locked up by now. Arya doesn't trust easily. I guess you're a good friend. I don't know. Are we, Arya? Shepard, this is Nyrene Kandros, ex Turian military. We go way back. Way back. I've got a lot of questions, but they'll have to wait. Follow us, we'll get you to safety. I'll do my best. Do you look capable? Are you joining the squad? Gun to good use? You have no idea how ready. Oh, 
Okay. Nyreen. Turian Huntress. Weapon damage, health and shield bonus. Let's do weapon damage. Uh, biotic, 30%. Tech power, 30%. Let's do tech. And then power damage, 30 Or squad bonus. I always like the squad bonuses. Alright, she's got a grenade. We'll upgrade the grenade. By three at least. Biotic protector. Who can, she can create a shield. Overload. And incinerate. We'll do overload. Because they have some mechs in here. Increase damage by 50%, hit one additional target. Increase damage from various shields by additional 100%. We'll do the one additional target on this one. Um, Biotic Protector. We'll upgrade that. Okay. That's all she wrote for that. Uh, Shepard can go up four, but everything costs five. Arya can go up two, but everything costs at least four. And we'll give ourselves a save. So we exactly should have more. To reclaim what's mine. Left something behind, I take it. Not something. Everything. The Valkyrie. Data pad here. 3,000 credits. Definitely prefer that over hacking. What's the fleet status? Still landing inside the bunker. Keep the enemy out. Lock it down. Now. Lower blast doors. Lower the blast doors. Lower the blast doors. Lower the blast doors. Good game. Good reference.
do it. Ah, oh, good shot. I guess those guns are good too. <laughs> And bring Caden, he might freak out. Like, are these good men? They'll keep the general's forces at bay for a while. Let's get inside. Bunker team, retract the bridge and lower the blast door. We're coming in. I know this place is built like a fortress, but is it safe now that the general's clued in? Yeah. Could he have done something? He did hear us from the cameras. Yeah, I feel like a sitting duck here. I have no intention of sitting around, and you both should know I assume nothing. And on that front, Nyreen, you left Omega fairly angry with me. I wasn't aware you'd returned. Explain yourself. You don't trust her or what? I never left. In fact, I went to great lengths to keep from you. I'm not easily duped. Well done. But why? I just couldn't leave. Considering all this, I wish I had. Well, you always said I'd be the death of you. Could use her help. Irene has military training. We can put her to good use. You're so quick to trust, huh, Shepard? And Irene never approved of Omega's. What did you call it? Moral bankruptcy. Are you willing to help defend it now? You'll find me very like willing assassin, to liberate the great. Your combat skills seem a little rusty, but you're still a good shot. See my duty, officer. Like Ezio in Revelation. Right. Keep an eye on her. Will do. How many? I have many eyes. All right, Shepard, we need to move fast. I'm itching for revenge. If you think I'm gonna let you carve a bloody path through this campaign, you're sadly mistaken. And if you think you're going to change me, well, you're welcome to try. Once up and running, this bunker will provide recon and secret access to much of the station. I'd appreciate it if you would quickly eyeball operations, see that things are setting up smoothly. I can eyeball. What will you be doing? Checking in on my forces. I need to know how many survived the assault before I can plan the attack. It won't take long. Join me at the command console when you're ready. Okie dokie. So, they're working on the defense. We got Vorka. Parents. Anybody want to speak and talk? Sir. Shepard. Human. been tasked with increasing this command center's control of Omega's operating systems. 
I've hacked surveillance on many decks, tapped various internal communication conduits, but I can only reach so far. There are terminals in Cerberus-controlled areas, and... Well, you could get your hands on them. When you find these terminals, a simple input code will give me access privileges and more influence on station systems. Easy enough. Okay. Good. I'll keep an eye on my board and I'll let you know when my codes are activated. Thanks. Assist the hacker with hacking. Files are gonna be tight. If we hadn't lost that shipment, you mean if we hadn't lost that ship and those people? Well, yeah, that too. I think her thigh is hurt, but I'm not sure. This area is still unsecured. Off limits for now, Commander. That's it. Everything we had is prepped and ready. It's not much. We get asked the scouts to keep an eye out for medical supplies. I thought about it, but I doubt Bray would go for that. You talk to the scouts. I'll handle Bray. We're out of system. You there? I swear, if you don't answer soon, finally. Where are you? You don't know? Seriously? Look, just check your Omni tool for the station schematics. What do you mean your Omni tool is broken? Ruck, that's not good. I. Right. I'm not helping. Sorry. Look, I'll just talk you back to the bunker, okay? Maybe we'll be on the lookout for Ruck, too. Work. Work. What's the trouble here? Power inverters are shorting, trying to find a workaround, but no go. They can probably be scrounged up somewhere on Omega. If you come across a set of carry inverters, bring them back here. I'll see what I can do. Okay. So I gotta look for terminals to hack, I gotta look, look for some inverters. No inverters are the only answer. Aria wants to talk to you. All right, so we got some missions. I think that's we got two Keep extra an eye ones. For panels. I'll cross-reference with my station schematics to try and figure out where you are. I what? Ruck, I can't find a single reference to that location. No, I'm not joking. There's nothing remotely funny about this. Only you could get lost like that. You don't even know how you do it. Rick, Ruck, hey, I get it. He's lost. Go, that one's pretty impressive. Okay, so we need to look for um, hacker stuff, possibly su supplies for the hospital if we can, uh, Ruck, and some inverters for the mechanic. We'll keep our eye out. As how are we looking? All systems operational. Full Omega schematics coming online now. Let's take a look. I see. Shepard, those force fields we saw. The General has them set up everywhere. He's controlling access across the station. What are these dark areas? Many sections of Omega are powered down. I'm betting power is being siphoned to run those force fields. Hmm. Find the source, priority one. And we'll need a full tactical assessment of all Cerberus positions. I'll get on it. Shepard, we have work to do. Our losses were significant. We can't field an army large enough to face down Cerberus. And we need to find allies. Story of my life. Yeah, right? We've confirmed there is a Merc gang that's still active. The Talons the are Talons. resisting the occupation. Not my first choice, but they're all we've got. Then it's time to play diplomat. And if the current leader won't join us, the next one will. I guess so. Sorry to interrupt. What is it? I turned away for a second to offload supplies when I looked back. You lost her. Well, I... We're locked down. She's got to be here somewhere. This bunker has secret access points to other parts of the station. Nyrene left? Fortunately, Nyrene knows them. Damn it, Bray. 
if I wasn't already short on manpower. We have to focus on getting the Talons on board. Shepard, I'll meet you at the Armory exit when you're ready to go. But don't keep me waiting. Yes, what is it? Let's talk. Got a minute? We need to get going. Investigate. Nyrene. It seems like there's more to Nyrene than meets the eye. You mean her disappearing act? Honestly, I'm not concerned. If it was anyone else, I'd want blood, but Nyrene's a variable I can control. She believes in a code of ethics. She oozes virtue. You two must have made an interesting pair. Opposites attract, right? Our connection was powerful but doomed. Nyrene demonstrated zero flexibility. She couldn't put up with the challenges of my life. Oh, you kids. That's all you're getting out of me on this subject, Shep. Anything else? Battle plan? Once we recruit the Talons, how do we reach the General? I'm working on it. His command center set up an afterlife. No doubt a deliberate move to piss me off. Let it fuel you. She's effective when she's angry. Anger makes you all the more lethal. Count on it. Those strange force fields are blocking access to much of the station, including afterlife. So after we complete our current objective, I'll be looking for a way to get around them. Enough talk. Is there anything else or can we move on? More talk. Tell me about this Merc gang we're looking to enlist. They're drug runners and cutthroats, but they're highly organized. That sets them apart. They appear more civilized than, say, the Blood Pack, but at their heart, they're just as dishonorable. We'll have to appeal to their lust and greed to get and keep them in line. Anything else you need to know? The General. Tell me more about Petrovsky. He presumes to sit on my throne, that's all that matters. I get that you hate him, Arya, but I need to know who we're up against. All right, I'll admit he's not like other Cerberus operatives I've encountered. He's smart, thinks outside the box, very hard to predict. Plays chess with He's himself. like his boss. No matter who suffers and no matter the cost, he stops at nothing. To defeat him, we have to be prepared to do the same. Is the cross-examination over because time is of the essence? I suppose. You're off the hook for now. Good. I'll meet you at the exit by the armory. Cerberus activity. Just a reminder, Commander. When you find Cerberus terminal, please. Yep, I know. Access code. Thank you. Just doing a loop, making sure no one else needs their shit done. Commander. I'll give it up. New inverters are the only answer. Good luck out there. Let's leave the area. that we should mod her weapons. Just the basics. Shepard went up some points, baby. We'll do Adrenaline Rush. I've done it once or twice this run. The entire three games. Uh, increased melee damage, 50%. I like that. Let's do Carnage. Impact radius. What's your history with this game? Some mutually beneficial dealings and some occasional violence. The Talons weren't even a blip on our radar until the plague in 2185. 
Your little war against the other gangs left a vacuum. Mm. Not my intention. Their leader, Darius, took advantage of the situation Darius. and carved the Talons a bigger piece of the local drug trade. Are we enlisting them because they're good, or because we need numbers? Their cannon fodder, we're using them because they're the only game in town. I don't like to use people. You're gonna let them know that? Relax, Shepard. This is how it works on Omega. Just let me do the talking and... Attack on the towns. Judging from column chatter, the priority target is in the area. Could be the talent leader. Well, this will Looks certainly like get us in their good graces. To get to them. Let's move. Okay. Why would they leave crates of red sand lying around like this? Maybe they had something more important going on. Not Darius. Profit is the only thing that matters to him. Anything else can burn. Crates of red sand. Well, it doesn't blow up. Or at least the case doesn't. One of these air shafts should lead us to Talon territory. The terminal is active. Thank you, Commander. Gotta be on the lookout for these uh, terminals. Generator reactivate. Where? It's dark, but I can't tell. Is it maybe on the other side of whatever that is? Maybe. Oh, I can go around here. Okay. Another data pad. Almost done scouting this location. The surveillance drones indicate the detention center is on par with the last one we hit, but something feels off with the patrol patterns that the display table is spitting out. I recommend another observation run before we try to extract the civilians. Okay. Here is the ter a terminal for hacking. Power's offline. There should be a control switch for the generator nearby. That was not. 
Activate. Now try. Looks like they were using this to observe the detainment centers. That tower is the Talon outpost we're heading for. Looks like the Talons are given as good as they get. Yeah. This is beautiful. Through Cerberus forces. We can do that. Man, this seemed like an excellent spot for hiding something. I can't get to it. It's too dark. Maybe I can go on the other side. Yes, salvage. My grenade is set to L1, but I feel like I keep pressing it and nothing's happening. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Ah, man. No, that's cool. Generator, activate. Helps with the shields. light tap is what I need to do. Not hold, but light tap. Hey, huh. You're welcome. I can monitor enemy movement in sectors 4 through 12 now.
back up. Yet to see any of the power converters that one guy's looking for. Or. Rosh? Rock? I haven't seen him either. I don't think so. Ah. care of the wounded and scavenge what you can i want us out of here asap you heard the boss move it the boss looks like we found the talon leader i would say we did my my nirene aren't you full of surprises aria the deception was necessary i needed to figure out what your plans were the people on and why she took the supplies I couldn't risk compromising our operation. Not exactly standard procedures for a street gig. When Cerberus invaded, the Talons were a mess. I brought new direction. I'm impressed. The General's been hunting us ever since. Right now, he's attacking one of our outposts. That's where I need to be. We're done here, boss. Right. Aria, Commander Shepard, whatever you're here for, the answer is no. Kindly escort yourselves off Talon territory. But if we help, then you can help us, like I've been doing this whole fucking game. We're here to help. We'll talk about it after we reach your outpost. That's a generous offer. Aria, does the Commander also speak for you? Not the way I would have put it, but that's the idea. All right, then. Come with me. You notice the biotic grenades? You always did like blowing things up, given half a chance. Alrighty. And that's why we keep the, keep looking around for stuff.
slow elevator. Let's get some talking going. Huh? So you two were a thing? Huh? Still have some attraction? Huh? Alright. Good talk. Rampart mechs incoming! this thing. I drop this thing as soon as I shoot it, right? So let's hope the first guy that pops up is a big one. Fine here. Hi. Okay. Seems like I've gone the right way. You're not afraid of heights. I'm not. Boy, 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 I get to use it, I get to use it. Finally, a little recognition. Actually, Arya, I'm Target Alpha. Ah! Damn! What a waste! Kill everybody on this planet! That's Ari, I'm sorry.
And I hope I'm not missing anything. There's just so much to do and look at. Lockdown system's been compromised so many times it hardly knows up from down anymore. Nirene to base. Need an engineer at the catwalk center. Door's jammed again. This may take a moment. Segment. I need to get to my people. Boss. It's good boss. to see you, boss. Yeah, big gun. We'll be evacuating this location as soon as possible. Try not to interfere with my people's work. Intel just reported in. The group of civilians we managed to evac arrived safely at the other outpost. They're evacuating civilians, that's good. Also, routine sweeps reporting nothing new on the adjutant presence. Adjutants. Creatures created by Cerberus. They eviscerate their victims' DNA, converting them into more adjutants. Huh. Some kind of Reaper-based weapon. Damn. I fought them before. They're a nightmare. It got worse after you left. Cerberus lost control of them. Those things tore apart the gangs. Then attacked everyone God inside. damn Cerberus, man. If Cerberus hadn't found a way to contain them, the entire station would be infected by now. <sighs> Keeping your people alive through that couldn't have been easy. I watched friends get turned into monsters. I just hope there's none of that shit inside me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an outpost to defend. The adjutants really got under her skin. Okay. Here, we found more medical supplies. All yours. I... thank you. I'll make sure they're distributed properly. Do you think we'll make it out of here? Absolutely. Boss is here now. We'll wipe the floor with Cerberus in no time. Hey, Commander. I just wanted to say thank you. You're welcome, man. It's nice. Krogan! First Krogan I've seen here. Scouting Team E from Base 2. Word is the attack on the station was led by Arya and that she's on board now. Boss is heading off to investigate. Try and stay out of trouble while she's gone and don't get caught. Our forces are tied down right now, so rescue options are limited.
Krogan won't let me pass. Alright, is that everybody your thing to talk to? Just reported into the boss. Still no adjutants. Thank the spirits for that. Do we even be bothering with this? There hasn't been any other since that dog worker turned, right? Look, I know you're new to this outfit, but get used to the adjutant watch. It was only one of those things last time, and Cerberus still had to seal shut an entire ward to deal with it. They didn't even try to help the people trapped inside. I... I can't imagine what their last moments must have been like. Trust me, you hear any weird, creepy whispering, you grab your friends, and you run. Mm. God damn, I... The elusive man just pisses me off. But he's also cool. <sighs> it's frustrating. Cerberus is backing off for now. Make sure the scouts keep an eye out for the next attack. You've done an excellent job, Nyrene. But I'll be taking over now. You know what happens to people who argue with me. And if I say no, you'll just kill me and take over? My people won't stand for that. Yes, they do seem nauseatingly loyal. Either way, I'll get what I want. I'm coming a little strong, are you? Not this time. Kind of think she's going on too strong. The truth is, none of us can do this alone. Our only chance is to join forces. You might be right, but the people of Omega are my priority. You take over one gang, and you think you're ready to decide what's best for Omega? Nyreen, watch and learn. As Everything's in place. The entire station's connected. Talk to everybody. People of Omega, I have returned. Cerberus believes they have beaten you. They believe they have you under control. They are gravely mistaken. You are the lawless of the galaxy. You cannot be beaten, and you will never be controlled. Be ready. Your chance to strike out against your oppressors is coming. Together, we will take Omega back! And they kept the feed. That's your plan? Throw civilians at Cerberus? Anything is better than being locked up like mindless animals waiting for slaughter. I know what you're up to, Arya. And I don't like it. I have civilians to evacuate. I'll deal with this later. All right, let's get these people ready to go. Now! Mm. What are you trying to do? Trying? The people of Omega, my people, love a good street fight. When it breaks loose, they'll be ready. Nyrene's code of ethics won't let her sit by if civilians are exposed. It's what makes her utterly predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Cerberus is launching another offensive. Looks like I'm not the only one who didn't like your little speech, Arya. Glad I got his attention. Commander, landing pads are yours. My people and I will hold the main doors. Got it. Okay, let's get to the landing pad. Which is outside, I knew that. Cool how they have the shield over the turrets. I like that. Let's do it. I'm excited.
We're on our way. Talons will join your cause. Someone's got to make sure you don't run roughshod over our people. You see, Shepard. Let me guess. She said I was predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. She did. Yep. Pretty much word for word. She thinks she's playing you. Nothing new here. <laughs> One thing, though. I maintain command over my people. This is not up for debate. Just have them ready. Oh, they'll be ready. All right, got these little segments. We're almost there, Shepard. The Talons will be the frontline fodder. Now we just need to bring down the force fields to clear the way to afterlife. They have an Elcor? Which will release Omega civilians. Cerberus will have a million fires to put out. In one fell swoop, we'll have the people in the Talons working for us. That is manipulative. You might not want to compromise your alliance before it even takes shape. I've learned not to put much stock in truth and goodwill. It might be time to start again. Tell you what, I'll take it under advisement. Now, I'll be at the command console plotting our next move. I mean, I'm literally fighting a much bigger war by doing it. Things are starting to heat up over here. We need to bring you in fast. Rock. Rock. Hey, I did your thing. I've blocked enemy access to critical areas. The frontal assault should be less treacherous. Yep. I don't think I found many supplies. I don't think I found the inverters or whatever that mechanic was looking for. Is this the guy that was at Omega as a... As like a seller? Tentative excitement. Yeah, Welcome to the Emporium. Paris Emporium. Okay. Really? So I've seen him. I am grateful for Aria's return. Hidden back room was getting confining. Her patrol liberated me. Curious, you seem familiar. I had a discount at your store the last time I was yeah. here. Yeah. Enlightened, I see. Cunningly, I have a plan to recoup my losses since the Cunningly. service take over. Informative. The general threw out Arya's couch from afterlife. Upon taking over, I would like to gain her favor by returning it. Temptingly, if you find it and send me the coordinates, I will make it <laughs> worth your while. Okay. It's not a priority, but I'll keep my eyes open. Appreciative. Upon success, I will give you a finder's fee for your trouble. I'll let you know. I will find a couch. Have a nice day. I will look at your kiosk. Nothing that I necessarily would want to think. Man, find your stuff. I feel bad not finding everything. Relax. Anyone else to speak to? Those are exactly what I needed. Thanks. Oh, I did find them. Okay, you're welcome. I did find them. Uh, 
Should I buy all these things? Maybe I'll get locked out if I don't buy them. I mean, I got a lot of money. To buy them. What do you guys think? I don't really spend much. It's not like I need to get better equipment right now. I feel pretty good in terms of... Excuse me. In terms of the game, so I don't think I'll buy anything. Alright, Arya. Talk to me, Az. I've located the source that's powering the Cerberus force fields. Yes, I see. Shepard, take a look at this. The General is siphoning power from one of my main reactors deep in the bowels of Omega's mines. Unfortunately, access is cut off by the force fields themselves. Mm -hmm. Not completely. There's an open route through that dark area, then up. Hmm. The processing plant for one of the mines. It's been powered down. No force fields blocking it. We infiltrate there, find our way through the mine, then take that elevator to the reactor's back door. Good eyes, Shepard. Let's go. Not without me. Okay. Arya, my patrol, caught her in the perimeter. Please, you didn't catch me. We're allies now. Didn't <laughs> Arya tell you? Nyreen was expected, Bray. Return to your station. The Talons are ready, but if I'm sending my people into the breach, I want to make sure those force fields come down for good. So like it or not, you're stuck with me. It's almost as if you don't trust me. It's exactly as if I don't trust you. Trust me! We're going to war together. I'll make sure we can rely on each other. Agreed, Commander. Glad one of you isn't on a power trip. Go wait by the med bay, Nyreen. We'll join you shortly. Shepard, I have last minute orders to dole out. I'll meet you there, too. Okay. Scouts are ready to go. I like how populated it is here. Shepard, got a second? Yes. I know time is short, but I was hoping we could talk. Alone. We could talk? Aria will be joining us soon. Now may be our only chance. I'm not trying to undermine Arya. I know she has to be ruthless. Let her have revenge. I'm not doing this for me, and I'm not doing it for Arya or what we once had. It's for the people of Omega. I get it. Someone has to be their voice in all this. Incredibly powerful forces are about to do battle, with them caught in the middle. I just hope, as we bring down those force fields and go to war, that you can keep the people in mind. What's your impression of Petrovsky? An adversary worthy of respect. And not just because he's shrewd. When I was starting to organize the Talons, he offered amnesty to anyone who set down their weapon. The few of my people surrendered. And he made good on his word. Hmm. So he has a code. And, as near as I can tell, it doesn't exactly match the elusive man's. He has a code. Okay. Interesting. Are your people ready for the fight? You needn't worry about the Talons, Shepard. They were thieves and scoundrels once, but they serve with integrity now. We're fighting for a better world. I have to wonder if the same can be said for our sorry friend. I suppose we'll know soon enough. Man. Like, I want... I like Arya and the history that we've had, but she has so much ego is the big problem. Like, her ego gets people, puts people in harm's way. She's using the civilians. I mean, I think that they all need to fight for their home anyway, but it's, it's her gigantic ego that I feel like is her big character flaw. So, if, but, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to have to choose between them at some point here. How did you get mixed up with Arya? I was happy in the Turian military, but when my biotic abilities started to manifest, my superiors saw fit to reallocate me. They practically locked me away. I couldn't use my skills to benefit my people, so I quit. I floated around the galaxy, looking for a new purpose. And you found your way here? More like I lost my way here. But then there was this beautiful, fierce creature who didn't let anyone define her. I'll admit, I was mesmerized. 
I wanted a little bit of that to rub off on me. How close were you two? The draw was undeniable. Her strengths mirrored my insecurities. Maybe deep down it was the same for her. But trying to be with her turned into trying to be her. Irene Kandros was vanishing. Hmm. You seem like your own person to me. For all the drama between us? I'm grateful to Arya. She helped me remember who I am. It took a lot to break away from her. But I regret nothing. You're a veteran. Why are you so disturbed by these adjutants? I know fighting Reapers is old hat to you, Commander. But these... What they do to people? They could still be out there. And if they return, I don't want to even think about what would happen to Omega's people. The image of that drives me. And haunts me. I get that. It is... It's almost worse than what the Reapers do because the Reapers see the rest of the, all the life forms as just so far beneath them. You know, like we see insects. So, Cerberus is us. Like, they are our peers. So, them doing that to us is worse, it feels like. What do you know about the Cerberus force fields? The technology comes from beyond the Omega-4 relay. Flesh disintegrates upon contact. Hmm. The power required must be enormous. I fear that disrupting it could destabilize other systems on the station. I hope we'll proceed with care and certainty. Okay. I appreciate it, Nyree. We're heading out soon. I'll be ready. Was there anyone else to speak to? Squad leader, prepping their units. Ready to go in five. Doesn't seem like it. Those are exactly what I needed. Thanks. And I spoke to Arya. Did I speak to her again? All medical supplies. I can almost taste it. Seems like a yes. Once we stop the leaching of the reactor, my path to the general will be clear. Well, aside from the thousands of troops standing between him and us. Details. We don't have time to waste. Is there something you want to talk about? What happens when we bring the force fields down? The people revolt. Chaos ensues. And we lead the Talons and my forces on a wanton path right through the General's command center in afterlife. It's in a afterlife. It's true. When the force fields come down, all hell breaks loose. But as far as I'm concerned, all the blood's on Petrovsky's hands. <sighs> Do you think Nyrene's over whatever happened between you? It was a long time ago. But Nyrene's the type that doesn't forget. I run roughshod over most people, and if the tracks I leave aren't deadly, they're at least permanent. As different as we are, I don't wish her ill. So long as she doesn't get in my way. Is your hatred for the General getting the best of you? I'd say it's bringing out the best of me. The man has turned Omega into a prison and a launch pad for Cerberus campaigns. You should hate him too. I, for one, can't wait to finally get my hands on him. I mean, he's got a code, they say, but he's still working. He must know what Cerberus does. Especially with these, whatever they call them, these Reaper-like beings. And I can't imagine any code being okay with that. I don't know. That's all. I won't bother you with more questions. All right, when you're ready, I'll meet you and Nyrene at the exit by the med bay. Med bay's this way. More reports coming in. All forces ready.
Man, seven points. We are really getting up here. Increased damage to armor or increased damage to shields. Let's do armor. Processing plants. It's been powered down, so we'll have to pry open the door. I'll get it. Access to the mine should be on the far side. And the reactor is beyond that? According to the schematics, I ran Omega and Irene. I didn't work the mines myself. Hmm. No, you had indentured servants for that. Spirits. Relax. They're all Cerberus. They've been ripped to shreds. I don't like this. Well, they lost control of their creations, didn't they? This place is spooky. This place is spooky. place lost all of its power, right? That's why it's dark. Scary. I feel like whatever we see down here, we're going to want to burn. dead. It's a bloodbath. I've got bad feeling. We shouldn't be... Quiet. What's that sound? An adjutant. Oh no. The general must have locked this place down to keep it inside. Elevator to the mines is through that door. It's deactivated. Then we need to power this place up. There should be a master circuit breaker somewhere. These pipes power the door. We should follow them. The whispering's receding. Maybe the adjutant doesn't like its odds. Don't kid yourself. I've seen one of those things take down a squad of soldiers. This is a cash register? <laughs> Looks like one. I 
feel like I'm playing, uh... Down this ladder. Soma. In third person. There's the power control. Focus on the civilian areas first. You are relentless. That's one thing we have in common. Spirit! Ugh. One load on it. What was it Wait, at up. first? I hate those things. Well, I definitely like burning, I'll tell you that. Make you deadlier. That looked like fear to me. All right, back to the door. Love burning that thing. Is there a codex entry? Pressure malls. Reapers? The Reaper. The brute. Banshees are the corrupted Asari often. This is epic music for, for this. Codename for experimental subjects created. They're based on Reaper technology. Deadly pack hunters. They have the ability to infect any life form to create new. The baseline form of the being does not match any known species. Xenobiologists suspect the Reapers may have originally created with the virus several cycles. Hmm. So they could be a glimpse into the distant past at a species whose very existence and struggle with its reapers has long been forgotten. Interesting. So their base form is probably something that Javik could have filled me in on if he, I was allowed to bring him! Sorry. Did someone go in and change this on me? I never, ever would have picked casual. I've been on normal since the beginning, but it just feels too easy. So, that makes a lot more sense why that's happening. Aaron, you think Aaron did it? I definitely started on normal, and I don't think I've ever changed it, so... That's weird. Well, I'm glad that we've done that now. It is on normal, so hopefully we can feel a little more scared, I guess. And if we feel that way, maybe we'll go hardcore, I don't know. I know a lot of people say that it's too easy for me because I'm not using a lot of the systems that they like to use, but. Shepard, look alive. More All right, adjectives. this is how we do it. Now we can see if it's scary. 
Oh, we'll take a little bit more damage. Oh, fuck! See, this is scary! Man, they said more. There's a lot more. Any more? See that? That's fun. That's good. Let's try the elevator. I feel better about that one. <laughs> I have no idea when that could have gotten changed. Hmm. Weird. All right, into the elevator. I'll see the door, just in case. Terminated with extreme prejudice. On to the mines. What's eating you? Just processing. It's clear the general sealed that area to keep the adjutants in. Along with some unlucky soldiers. Yes. The creatures killed them, but didn't turn them into more adjutants. Can't shake it. Something's off. What's off? They just spooked. There's a rhythm to this place, Arya. To Cerberus. If you'd stuck it out here, maybe you'd feel it too. Whatever's in our way, we'll deal with it. I mean, I don't think I've ever really Great. gone into the menu Damn. of Mass Effect for you to be able to change it. Cerberus must be working them hard. to the reactor is somewhere on the upper level. Let's find a way up there. So cool. I think the only thing I really did is uh, I changed subtitles at one point. It is, I don't like it. This is what they're mining. I understand that much. These areas are so large. I'm afraid I'm missing stuff. You can use 
finish that maintenance elevator across the way. Okay. seen a couch. I'm hoping that Aria would see it and be like, hey, my couch! Dan says, I went back and looked at the VOD of the first playthrough. Definitely started on normal, but even from the very beginning, when you're shooting the cannibals in the Earth Prologue, it looked like it switched to casual. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'm just really good, you guys. And the game was like, man, he's too good. It's almost as if he's playing casual and it switched. It's probably what happened. I think this is going to get us there. It's a feature in a Legendary Edition. Seriously, if I hear that idiot complain about the ESO hazards or says we're all gonna die one more time, I'm gonna show him exactly what he really should have been worried about all along. ESO is only dangerous to it to us as dust. Wish that little bit of info would get through his thick skull, Sam. ESO hazard, so okay. So this is element zero that we're looking at here.
Yeah, if you guys have missed it, I did change the difficulty settings back to normal. I don't know how it got on casual. People can check my work because every single moment of this game has been streamed and I've never changed it. Um, I suppose there was that one time that I was scanning, but I never would have changed it to casual. And if I did, I certainly wouldn't complain how easy it was. <laughs> but I'm glad we checked, because right there when you guys were saying, no, these guys are supposed to be hard and scary, I was like, well, let's check. But I'm glad we did. I mean, hell, we still might change it. being pretty thorough here, but I don't see anything. Let's go to the elevator. They know our target. Expect heavy reinforcements. Just stay focused and find the access point to the reactor. invaded here. Killed everyone. Now we're paying them back in kind. I'm sure your dead workers feel much better now. this door, right? Didn't we? Yeah. We came in through this door. Can't go left. Oh, there's a big open door right here, guys. I don't know if you fucking saw it or not. Here we go. The elevator to the reactor is across the way. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Let's go faster. Ah, oh, it's gonna be jump. Careful. It. This place is falling apart. I was not being careful. I was gonna see if Shepard could jump it. Strange. 
We're not being attacked anymore. Yep, be ready for anything. Undoubtedly a trap, so let's bring the trap. Why are you grinning, Arya? We're almost there. When the force fields come down, this war finally begins. For some of us, it started months ago. That wasn't morbid. That was just warm up. area. Too bad you're on the elusive man's side, Petrovsky. I'm on humanity's side. You're the ones trying to start a war for the glory of Arya. But now it's over. This isn't over until your next of kin can't identify you. I love your bravado, but have the sense to know when you're beaten. You've been neutralized, and I can leave you there to rot. You might as well give up. Never! Arya, what are you thinking? I'm not going out like this. Arya, don't! Arya, what are you doing, girl? What the hell is she trying to do? Damn it, Arya, you're forcing my hand. I'll do it your way, then. Max, okay. Irene, Max! Everything's so red. Panicked. I was like, what do I need? I need to switch my gun, I suppose. <sighs> Unless there's an ammo crate somewhere. Alright. 
Let's get out of the bad habits of casual play. We will do that by making sure we have disruptor ammo on. We're gonna use our Viper for now. Definitely disruptor ammo on the Viper. That's my good girl. Let's not uh, shoot my actual uh, person, right? Is doing it. It's faltering. me out here now while they're still inside we gotta overload the reactor we gotta grab some ammo we gotta make sure we're using disruptor ammo We shouldn't walk over fire anymore. See your butt. That should work. over here. Shepard, get off your ass. I'm looking for a couch. It's yours to put your ass on. You don't understand. I love the Elcor so much. That's 
a reactor to overload. Is there anything else in this room? Shepard, do it. He's a really good hacker, man. <sighs> okay. Shields are down. Purgatory bar. So be it. All units, battle stations, prepare for attack. Get the demolition crews into position. Demolition crews? I kind of felt like it was just like... It worked. Shepard saved us without sacrificing innocent lives. I applaud him. I suppose. Whatever. You fought bravely against the Glad didn't do it. There, Nyreen. Very impressive. But why can't you bring that same grit when adjutants attack? It's pathetic. You tense up at the mere mention of those abominations. Lay off. She just saved you. I'm trying to help her, Shepard. Call it tough love. The war's starting. I don't mean to miss it. She's never been big on thank you. Get this poor Captain Arya. Get in the be doing All force missions. fields down. Civilians taking to the streets in droves. Cerberus pulling back. That won't last. The people don't have the training to go up against Cerberus front lines. They'll be wiped out. Civilian casualties can't be avoided. You'll have to accept this. Say what you will, Arya. I won't allow senseless deaths. I mean, the ones that have experience can definitely fight, but... Do what you can to protect them. I mean, form some, like, civilian militias or something. Arya, Report. My team is scouting. Bray, engage. That's why she wanted Delay the uh, he wanted can. the demolition teams. If they detonate the main column, they'll cut off the way to afterlife. The Talon offensive will be stopped cold. So we split up. Yes. Nyrene, lead the frontal assault. Shepard and I will meet you in the markets after we've taken care of those bombs. 
course. But don't count on me building your memorials if you get yourselves killed. Hey, what I do? I like it when you're feisty. <laughs> the only route to the central column is through the tunnels. Okay. Weapons bench. Don't need it. Thermal scope. Do need it. Med kit. Eh, it's experience. Well, damn, Mario. Right. Yes! Is that my couch? It's your couch! None of this was in vain!
can't do a thing. <laughs> there you go. Give me his feet! Shepard, we need to get to the central column before Cerberus sets off those bombs. Equipment. The control panels. Got it. Those bombs just went live. The console is locked. We'll have to manually disable them. Okay. Take care of the bomb. Come, Shepard, I'll hand the server. Here, what's your situation? We're advancing to the Gozu district. Move forward. Keep that flight covered. Yes, boss. We're holding our own, but Cerberus has started targeting the civilians. Reports of casualties are coming in from all sectors. Save those you can, and head for the rendezvous point. We'll meet you there. Green. We'll 
We'll do what we can. Myrene out. So how exactly do we get to Afterlife from here? I'm thinking the straightforward approach for a change. For a change. <laughs> Short work of them. Like they bit off more than they could chew. Mm -hmm. We should get a move on. Those idiots were experimenting on adjutants. That explains the ones we saw earlier. With the civilian population contained, we should be ready to initiate the next phase of the project on schedule. Before host conversion, we should begin the process of fusing the control implants to the subject's nervous systems. With the current success ratio, we project being able to surpass demand by 300%. First entry. The first generation adjutants have been transferred from the containment area and are being outfitted with the implants. The previous batches have been processed and moved to the storage area. Second. We can now control when and where the adjutants convert their victims. Initial testing on various species provides ample proof the virus can adapt flawlessly, regardless of the host used. Hmm. With the civilian population contained, we should be ready to initiate the next phase the of the project that we saw. on schedule. Before host conversion, we should begin the process of fusing the control implants to the subject's nervous systems. With the current success ratio, we project being able to surpass <sighs> demand by 300%. Data pad. There's a door here and there's a door up there. Check this one, I guess. I don't want to get locked out. Extra security. The doors only open one at a time. Makes sense, considering what they had locked up in here. The door's unlocked. Let's get out of here. Really? Uh. 
wanted to see what was behind that door. <laughs> no. <laughs> Man. Can I open it? Alright, guys. I gotta take a small break and I have to go pee real quick. And then we're gonna finish this up tonight. <clears throat> okay. Let's get back to it. That doorway leads to the Gozu district. Look out! Oh, look out! Oh, yeah, confusing. Shields back. Get under. Good strategy. I'm getting rid of this gun. That should fix my reset. I think Arya took care of most of them. Good job. It's exactly what I wanted you to do.
Marine, Arya and I are entering the Gozu district. Understood. Take out the turret. hadn't found us earlier, we'd be dead. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> This motherfucker. <laughs> Before it is too late. There's a lot of people listening to him now. And all with him shall fall with it. For the blight that is humanity stains all within its path. And the only chance at redemption lies in the word. I certainly don't forget him. on my station, of course something's not.
Bastard. Put the Cerberus logo in here. You fucking Nyrene losers. Kandros was a good soldier. It's a shame she had to die for your petty ambitions. You're a dead man. No, wait. <laughs> yeah, that probably shouldn't have jumped into that. What now, Petrovsky? Divide and conquer, Commander. Kandros killed the adjutants we hadn't finished experimenting on. These are fully under our control. The prototypes for our future army. Man, I'm gonna fuck these things up. Tinder showed up and came in clutch, I'd be so happy. Okay, where are the other couple things at? They gotta be in the corners, right? Shield generator. I just blow it up. I just blow it up. Okay, well, now that I've wasted a bunch of time and I understand.
little bit of time. Heal up our shields. I didn't realize exactly what I was supposed to do until the last second, though, so that sucks, but I get it now. I shouldn't say last second, that's unfair. too hard. That was fun, though. <laughs> I really like this part of the game. Where's ammo? Where's ammo? Shit! Shit! There's ammo right here! Oh, my God. 
left. This is so much fun. That was down to the wire, wasn't it? Found you! Surrender. That was so fun. Hydrate. This is tea. Cease and desist all aggression. It's over. It's over. Commander Shepard, I surrender myself into your custody. That is the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Shepard, I'm unarmed, and I can give the Alliance intel on the elusive man. Uh, You'll say anything to save your skin. I, I let you escape, Omega. I deserve mercy. Is this true, Arya? Yes. Cerberus had successfully taken the station, and he let me go. Do you feel that, Oleg? That's death. She's letting him live. You better cooperate. Take him, Shepard. You and your alliance can decide his fate. Just get this filth off okay. my station. Commander, glad to see you've had a calming effect on Ms. Talok. I tried talking sense into her one time. I look forward to hearing how you pulled it off. Don't assume you know where this is going. What? From what I understand, high-ranking Alliance POWs lead fairly comfortable lives. Now that I've seen what you're capable of firsthand, maybe Arya's instincts were right. So, you're going to execute me. I'm your prisoner. You can't just shoot me in cold blood. If you don't tell the Alliance everything, I'm giving you back to Yes! Arya. Bray. Get him out of here. I felt the temptation. I felt the dark side well up in me. Let me tell you that. But to overcome, we must feel the temptation. You've got good control, Shepard. I know it's hard to resist that impulse. I've been waiting to kill that man for months. Walk around with you for a few hours and I go all soft. You're like a disease. This victory came at a cost, Arya. It's not soft to recognize that. Yeah. You sound like someone trying to sell something. I admire your tenacity. And thanks to you, I have Omega back. So what's your plan? There's a lot to rebuild. Starting with this command center. I'll bring back the bartender and the chicks, and we're good to go. It may take some time to remove 
the general stink from my throne. Well, I did get you a couch. I enjoy the pole dancing in here again. The citizens of Omega have been through a lot, Arya. Try to remember that. How can I forget? There are reminders everywhere I look. And don't worry. I'll honor our arrangement. Troops, ships, and a mountain of Izo. All right. You earned it. Then I'll be going. Bray will take you back. I have a station to whip into shape. Citizens of Omega, hear me. I, Arya Talok, have given you back your lives. My rule is reignited. My hand is on the controls once more, and I will not let go again. Each of you owes a debt. Gain my favor by rounding up the remaining Cerberus invaders and... And we will cast them from our home. Then bury and mourn our dead. My Respect. methods haven't always been popular, and I can't promise that will change. But securing this station and everyone inside it is now my primary purpose. All right. <laughs> no one will imprison us again. We may be bruised. We may be bloodied. Omega. You always get these crap details, Bray? <laughs> Not this time. You got a galaxy to save. Let's get you off this rock. <laughs> Bray. <laughs> That's great. Whew. You got a new message, Commander. Yes, I imagine I do. What a stream! Man, that uh, Omega DLC uh, took up most of the stream, but you know what? That last gameplay segment was a lot of fun. And we discovered a huge, huge flaw in my last couple of streams. Shit was too easy because it got set to easy. I don't really know why, but here we are. <sighs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Arya can kiss Fimshep in this DLC. Mm, interesting. Okay. I mean, she just lost, like, her love interest and stuff. Back off a little bit. You know, mourn a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Got renegade for that. All right. Well, I feel pretty good. I think Arya, uh, at least in my game, uh has changed a little bit not too much a little tiny bit it's a little more caring but so um i am going to play a little bit off stream unless there's like some crazy thing i was like no you can't because fucking the elusive man's gonna kick in the door of the normandy like right now or something but off stream i'm gonna do some scanning and uh in seven missions and stuff like that um, and then we'll start next week at the Citadel to hand in missions and go on dates or just hang out and stuff with the, with everybody. So yeah, Omega is done and, uh, I really, really enjoyed it. Maybe we'll, you know, I mean the, the difficulty was definitely, it was harder, but I also had to just adjust to, uh, not feeling like I could wipe everything off the map, uh, this time so maybe next week we even up to difficulty more who knows who knows i thought i think i just did save but i'll save again just in case ah <sighs> man it was also really cool to see a uh cory and female uh that was that was really cool <laughs> at first whenever she showed up as the leader of the uh the talons i was like man two cory and females no, it's it's her. She just didn't have her hood up. I think I liked her... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Torian, not Corian. I keep saying Corian, but Turian. Um, but yes, it, it was it was cool to see. I think I liked her first outfit with the uh, assassin look a lot better than the other one. But 
doesn't matter. They're still great looking outfits. And sadly, she's dead. But at the very least, thankful for this DLC to show show a female of that race. So that's cool. Um, what else happened? I mean, it was mostly just the fallout of the last mission, talking to everybody. Um, we had some deep thoughts with Edie and with, uh, with Caden, and then just the Omega, uh, mission. So, that's, unfortunately, I mean, I, I went 40 minutes over my usual time, so that's the way the cookie crumbles. Uh, but, come back for more cookie crumbling tomorrow, podcast, Thursday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you don't know what time that is locally... I'm sure you can Google it or guess, and maybe we'll be there at podcast. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you back here next week for more Mass Effect 3.